the hidden rhombus keeps coming up over and over again. And partly why I do that is that a lot of students just learn constructions just like step one, step two, step three. And I, I want students to kind of understand why that compass is actually able to perform that particular deed. So let me create the image you're looking at in this question. Uh, let me pull out my compass and snap it on there. And I think um, the look of this is something like this. So an arc has been made from this side. And then uh, an arc is made from the other side. And the question becomes, um, you know, where is the rhombus? Now, what I want you to notice about that compass we were just using is that the the length of it, the size of it, did not change at all. So when I created, let me grab my segment tool, when I created uh, this arc, uh, this radius uh, is exactly the same as this radius and then when I ran over to the other end point of that original segment and I created this I created another segment of the same length and then I did it one more time now why does that seem to matter why do I keep bringing this up well later in in the year you'll learn some properties of a rhombus but they're very important properties the rhombus with four equal sides will always have a perpendicular intersection here of its diagonals. That's what we wanted to obtain that. The diagonals bisect each other. In other words, this length here has to equal this length here. That's why a midpoint is created. A midpoint is created. So hiding in behind the scenes when we keep our compass a fixed length and use it multiple times, often uh, rhombuses, rhombi, or, uh, rhombus is created and its properties exist in the diagram. That's, that's what's going on here.